COVID-19 testing sites are popping up daily. Today, the city of Jacksonville announced three new testing sites. But while there are options for testing, there are not enough labs to keep up with the demand. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is here. Lauren, what's the turnaround time for someone who's tested and when they get their results? So, Joy, it really differs, but unless you're going to a private lab, you're going to wait in some cases more than 10 days for results. We've heard much longer. So I found out which testing sites have the shortest turnaround. Long lines are a thing of the past as COVID-19 testing centers open up across the region. But until more labs are able to process the test... It's almost worthless, I would say, you know, Dr. Saman Salamani is the president of Avicenna Medical. His offices perform on average 600 to 700 COVID-19 tests a day. And while the testing on one of those locations is going to cost you. What is the turnaround? Same day. Dr. Salamani says that that's because everything from performing the test to processing it is done in house. A stark contrast from the government run testing sites. The city of Jacksonville says for these four testing sites, Mandarin Ocean Way, Lane Wiley and Leroy D. Clemens Senior Centers, the average turnaround is three to four days. The lab that processes these tests is out of Madison, Wisconsin. Quest Diagnosis processes the test at the Jim Fortuna Senior Center and the Beaches location in Neptune Beach. The turnaround time for those is seven to ten days. And in a statement from Quest, seven or more days is the average turnaround from their labs, saying, quote, this is not just a Quest issue. The surge in COVID-19 cases affects the laboratory industry as a whole. What's happened is the country is testing more than anywhere else. So they have hundreds, I think it's 700, 800,000 tests a day. And, uh, and the labs have gotten backed up. So DE, the emergency management, they're going through and they're making changes as they see fit. Some of those changes include priority testing for those with COVID-19 symptoms. We started a, a special lanes for symptomatic people, Orange County, Jacksonville, Broward and Miami. And um, those were taken on Friday, package sent. I believe the results are gonna come to the people today. So Regency Square Mall in Arlington is one of those special testing sites the governor there just mentioned. I got tested there last Thursday and was told I'd received my result in three to five business days. Now I have not received mine just yet. At this point, if you believe you might have COVID-19 and do not want to pay for the test, you're definitely going to want to do the governor's recommendation at the Regency Square Mall location. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station. So, Lauren, if someone does believe they have COVID-19, but they just don't want to pay for a test, where's the best place to be tested? So, Joy, what I was just saying right there, the Regency Square Mall location is where you're, want, you're going to want to go. That's because the state has paired up with priority smaller labs around the country. They're not working with the lab cores or the Quest Diagnostics. They're working with smaller labs, and those labs are promising a 48-hour turnaround, even though realistically the governor believes it'll be more like 72 hours. But again, we're going to find out today if those people get those results. So we'll keep you updated. All right, Lauren Verno reporting live. Thanks for your insight, Lauren.